Damian Lillard and Shaquille O'Neal are involved in a battle rap. You heard that correct. They are both rapping and they are battling each other. We're going to talk about all that shit, but I'm going to hit this first. <laughs> this is the presidential pre-roll. Infused blunt flower distillate Keith. <coughs> it's pretty good. Since the beginning of time, rappers have wanted to be athletes. Athletes wanted to be rappers. Since the fucking beginning of time, right? And Shaq was one of them. Shaq was a rapper. He actually went platinum before. He swear he's fucking goddamn 8X vests and shit. And he was all huge. And he was like, Phil is my father because my biological didn't bother. I remember that rap. It was back when there was like Shaq toys and there were like Shaq food things. And he was breaking back for it. Shaq was a goddamn superstar. Okay. Damian Lillard. Fast forward to Damian Lillard. New superstar. Big shot. Dame. Big dollar holla, whatever he's going by, he's rapping too, okay? And I just heard some of his lyrics and, and somehow him and Shaq got into it. And I listened to both their diss tracks. And off top, Dame's a better lyricist. I'm gonna give it to him, he is a better lyricist. Delivery wasn't like super, it was still kind of like an athlete's delivery, a little late, some of it, but Obviously, you know, there was a lot of thought into it, you know. Shaq, Shaq, it was a little too serious, honestly, to be going against Shaq. He was like rapping and like matching his baby's mom's. Like, you know, he went a little far. It's still Shaq, you know, like, you guys are NBA players. And so Dame was like, I don't want to hear about rings. This is rap. This ain't basketball. No, no, no. And you're like, you know what, Dame, you guys are in the NBA. Okay. It's about sports every fucking time. Like I get that you're trying to break the rapper athlete mold. And it's kind of annoying really. Even if you are good, like you're an elite player. You're an all-star. You know what I mean? You just had a fucking killer fuck. You had a, one of the greatest shots ever last year um, in the playoffs with that 40 foot jumper on Paul George. And it's just like, now you're rapping. And it's like, you already made it. You made it to the league. You're an expert in your craft. Just do that. You know, don't annoy us with songs. But anyways, back to the back to the lyrics. So, Dame was like, this ain't about rings. This ain't about this, that. Because you already know Big Shaq Diesel got them motherfucking rings, boy. And you better watch your mouth. Okay, because that's Shaq Diesel. There's a statue of him. And we are in LA, nigga. That's just right downtown. Three-time MVP. Four-time fucking champion. He may have got that fourth MVP, but I think Dwayne got it. Anyways, you're talking about the most dominant player in NBA history. Okay? That's who you're talking about. So, yes, his accolades are included. Okay? You will never be as dominant as him. And you gotta win one championship first before you go start talking about niggas' NBA careers. Also, as good as Dame will be, he still falls into the guard range, which puts you under the puts you under the limit of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. I don't think Dame Lillard's gonna be fourth on the list. He's not gonna be in the top three. So I don't even think there will be a Dame Lillard. I don't think there'll be a Dame Lillard um, statue one day. I don't. I think, you know, he might get a ring. I don't think he'll get an MVP and I don't think he'll ever have a statue outside. He might have his uh, jersey lifted. But that's just my opinion, you know. So, careful when you talk about Shaq Diesel. Gone. <laughs> 